So welcome this morning, guys, to the Bria and Miami Dade RIA. Um, we're going to be talking today. Uh, our educational uh, um, hour is about using ReFX, the most powerful deal generator, um, and uh, that that's the software program that we use and have been using at Bria here in the state of Florida and other states now that he's expanding the program. We've been using it for almost 10 years. That's how we have found about 95% of our deals. So it's not a lead generation generator. It's a deal generator, right, Francisco? There you <laughs> go. Yeah, I'm finally getting it right. After all these years, now I'm starting to say it <laughs> the, the correct way. So, um, so this morning, guys, we wanted to educate you guys, bring the man himself, the owner and programmer of ReFX program to show you guys how this program, if you're already using it, great. If you're not using it, well, you're going gonna, to gonna be able to get your eyes open to what the possibilities are of generating deals. So good morning, Francisco Mago from ReFX. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Have a wonderful day. It's a, it's a wonderful day to learn and, and, and actually make money. Yep. So Absolutely. here we go. I'm going to start for sharing my screen. And while Francisco is doing that, guys, when you guys have a question, because we want this to be interactive today, when you guys have a question, please put your questions in the Q&A. If you put your questions in the chat in any Zoom, this is a, a golden nugget I'll share with you. On any Zoom that you're on, if you put questions in the chat, the chat populates too quickly and it's too hard to go back um, to find that. So, because our staff today um, is gonna be putting, you know, maybe some links in the chat for, you know, getting signed up on ReFX, you know, and that kind of thing, some information. So we use the chat for resources, but for the Q&A, if you have questions, make sure you put them in there so we can get all to your questions today. Thank you so much, Ryan. That reminds me, people, we are giving away two months free of the professional dialer. What? So please text, I know, I know. <laughs> text nice. REI FAX, that is R-E-I-F-A-X to 954-737-3239. This will be in the chat. So if you'd like a chance to win, please go ahead and do that. And like Ryan said, Alexa and I will be in the chat and we'll be making sure we address all of your questions that are in the Q&A section. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And that's a, just so you guys know, that is a $600 value. So um, for one lucky person, we're paying you to watch us. <laughs> and when is this going to stop? <laughs> It's fine 98. 598, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm looking at this pool and I'm amazed. Yeah. 25% of the audience have bought uh, properties with co violations. So that, that's a huge number, actually. Yeah, that's impressive, actually. That's so there's impressive. some experienced people. And um, what, I know what you're going to show today. Maybe you shouldn't show this to them, Francisco. We should have just kept this a secret. Uh, yeah. um, I, I, I hear I this want before, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, I have some other secrets now. So be prepared. <laughs> and I'm going to tell it to you first, and then you go if we can release those. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> well, guys, with the, 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 the last uh, new feature of, of, of ReFX, we, you know, we, we always like to put new features into the system. And I'm, I'm going to show it to you this way. When, I, when I'm going to click in this search here, actually, uh, oh, actually, one of the things that you can see now, uh, at see these menus here, there are like, uh, in this case, there are nine different menus. Um, I, I have that many menus because I, uh, I I actually have all the menus available. If you are an agent, you're gonna be things like expire. If you are not agent, you're not gonna see the, that. You know, usually we have here like all this in one line, but we, we because we keep adding all these things, now we have to do like two line menu here in order for you to, to have all the features. So I, I hope that this not go to three line menu. I don't think so, but uh, it, it's, it's for your benefit. Now, uh, let, let, let's, let's go straight to talk to open violation. I'm gonna go to Miami Day, which is the kingdom of open violations. Don't ask me why. 
let's go to Miami Day. Now the open violation tab is uh, is the last one over here, okay? And if you want to know how many open violations are in Miami Day, the only thing that you need to do is actually click here on yes and click on the search button and the system is gonna give you all the open violations in the system, all of them, 12,151. So yes, there is a lot of them. Now I, I cannot stretch enough that uh, when, when I'm going to see, when I'm going to tell you next. Uh, as, as Ryan was saying, uh, we, we, I, I emphasize in, in, in saying that we, what we find to you is actually potential deals. So we like to call ourselves deal generators instead of lead generators because of that. Now, the reason that we do that is because we, we not only find uh, that the seller might be motivated, that's one of the key points to actually uh, uh, having a deal is the is the person motivated so what we did with the open violation is actually find you an additional motivation like this house has violation problems that's one of the reasons or one of them that you know a very heavy reason that someone wants to get rid of a property and the other one of course is equity I want to know how many of these open violations have some kind of equity, okay? So first, we identify there are 12,000 uh, and change violations. Now let's go and see here how many of those violations are for single family homes. You click on search. Seven seven thousand seven hundred and sixty, a huge amount. Now, more importantly, what is that that we're looking for, guys? Why are you saving your time and being here today? We're looking for money. You want to make money, and you're looking for equity. So we go to the debt to equity ratio here. And we say, okay, I want only properties that has at least 3% equity. And then I click, go to my search. Six thousand one hundred and eighty. I will probably more than seventy-five percent of the original fee, the original that we just saw, actually have equity on the mix. That, that's very important if you actually are in the, in, in the investor business. Now to recap, Miami-Dade, single family, that have a violation and have at least 30% equity. 6,180 properties. Now, let, Let's go more, let, let's go farther here and let's go to the open violations and say, okay, I want violations that mention the word water in the, uh, in the violation. So I'm gonna click on search. And what you're gonna see is all these 207 properties are actually have code violations right now that mention the word water, 207. Now, let, let's check one of these. Okay, let's see the open violation here. Well, you have a shed in the segway, no permit. You can clearly see this from the east side of the property. 
the water meter is located. It's not re re related to water damage, but clearly it's the word letter, but uh, at, at water. Now, what I want to actually make you notice here, this property is for sale. It's actually pending and it had this standing violation. So I don't know if the buyer knows that because in order to do a, 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 a half up open violations, that, that there are certain things you need to do. In, in a matter of fact, you know, he, he probably lose an opportunity to negotiate a better price because they actually don't know uh, the open violations that are happening right now. So let's go back to listing. It's listed for 335,900. It's actually over market value and it have an open violation just to make you that, no, notice that specifically. Let's find another one here, another example, sorry. We have another open violation. Case open due to uh, change of ownership. Okay, in safe structure, see here? Case type, unsafe structure. See how many violations this property has. It has three different violations. Carpool without a permit. So probably, I don't know, Anish, this, this kind of thing is the ones that, uh, major life things. You know, the, the case violations on safe is a very, very, very good telling also. Let's see that. Wanna pick another example? Failure into maintaining a building structure or devising a safe condition due to a sprinkler system in this repair and water overflowing into neighborhood property. Francisco, I have a question for you. What about if um, they take care of the violation? Does it update? Does we, the we, we, update? we take it out. Okay, so it does it automatically once it's- it, we, uh, we, we check them every single week and we take okay. the violations out that are, you know, cured, just to say something in some way. And let's let's go something the dimension roof. Say I changed the uh, the violation or the alleged violation to roof to see anything that had the word roof on it. Again, what, what I'm searching here is properties that have uh, violations relating to roof, and I have their single family and had thirty percent equity. So just to recap on that. I'm gonna check on this one. The failure to maintain building structure or device in safe condition due to, uh, that's, that's another one. But you're gonna see the, the word roof Rough structure stairs in rid of the property built without required permits. Okay, but you can see things like roof damage too. Let's see this one. Roof damage to dig electrically in this repair. But see how many things this property have. It has roof damage, is in foreclosure at the moment, and it doesn't have yet uh, auction date. Oh yeah, July 7th. Guys, if any of you get this property, 
my daughter is a realtor, so please send the commission. Okay. Uh, let's check another type of violation. Do you have any idea that, that you can actually propose an issue about the type of violation? Well, you know what? Why don't, why don't we do this? Go ahead and put it in the chat. What do you guys, what kind of violation do you guys want to look for? I'll leave it to our audience. Uh, well, taxes is not a violation. So we're looking no. for our, let me see. Guys, go ahead and put it in the chat, please. Um, mold. Is that something that? Let's check. Or, or fire damage. Could be a pool, dirty pool. Structural. Mold. I mean, we, have, we got a bunch of people, additions, fire damage, bathroom, illegal bathroom. Let, let's see this one that is for sale. Okay. Open violation, interior renovation with a permit and suspect of painting over mold damage. Look at look at that violation and the property is for sale. And it's listed in 409,900. <laughs> See? Remodel yeah. pool home. I don't know if he can sell that property like that. Well, you tell me, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, in this world, people are buying everything kind of crazy a little bit. But yeah, you definitely need to. I mean, it literally says interior renovations without a permit. And software of painting over mold. <laughs> That's the wow. beauty. Yeah, if you don't disclose that, I mean, I'm not. The, I'm not okay. gonna be the realtor police here, so don't worry. Uh, if this one has mold and missing roof tiles. This is a good tell, roof tiles. That's another one. Let's check roof damage. Yeah, and, and also, um, um, I know you always talk about this. I, I see how you use the word contains instead mm -hmm. of exactly. It's always best oh, to we already contain. saw this one. This is the, we already saw this one. Let, let's change that to water. Yeah, yeah, look at that. You have fire damage and you have water damage. Hmm. So base of both worlds. So one of the things that you can actually do here is go to the template and, and see the, the, I'm gonna create, see, you see the open violations. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna add the, Uh, you you can date us like the violator, the the uh, the owner. But we, we, we you had that in the other, but alleged violation is what one of the things that you want to see, and and case type. So I'm gonna put this at the beginning, so we can actually see it. and um, case type. I'm gonna save this template that I just created in front of you. I'm gonna see violations. 
already have a template with that. So you can see it is the violation. You can actually expand it. And you can see the violations in that in that fashion. You see roof leak. Oh, that's another one we can use. Roof leak. Let's, let, let's try that one. I particularly like that one. You can see there is one for sale again. They have rules leak, open violations. Work without requirements. Roof leak. So uh, just to just to take it out of the system, let's clear this search. Let's find all single family for sale in uh, Miami Dade. Okay, let's see how many properties I have for sale here, single family. And then we're gonna check how many of those are open violations to see what's going on. No. Okay, now. We're getting lots of questions, Francisco. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna what get the number one. 4,997 properties are for sale at the moment. Now let's see how many of those for sale property has open violations. One hundred and eighty-two. So that's a decent number, right there, guys. Okay. Uh, can can we go to Q and A? Yes. Let's what are do the it. Questions? So Jack Seals is asking that um, he just wants to see if his platinum subscription does not show code violations. Should it? The the, the only the only subscription that shows code violation is uh, a professional dialer. A professional dialer. Thank you so much. Awesome. We put a link for that in the chat, everyone. So okay, thank so you. All right. For you, so it's, it's an upgrade. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. When, uh, when, are, when we are looking at specific properties, do the violations show up if they exist? And where would we see that? Uh, I, I think I already answered that, but I'm going yeah, to show it anyway. Yeah. Uh, like if, if there is an open violation, even if you are not looking for the property, it's going to have a tab like this one. Mm -hmm. that clearly state open violation. So mm -hmm. you click on that and there you go. No, 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 it's it's going to show, it's going to show not only the, that violation specifically, but it's going to show all of them. It's beautiful. It's really clear. I love it. So I, another person asks that they don't see the open violation button um, and their current Reifax users to just verify that you have the professional dialer and you can give me a call here at the office and I can help you with that as well. So, and um, someone wants to see if we can search a commercial property. Oh yeah. Um, we usually do residential um, here. At Bria, as an but... example, but you, we have all types of properties, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, you can even have violation in, in, in vacant land. No, of course not a structural ones, but you can have violations there too. All right. Um, I'm not quite sure. This Actually, question. there are 56 violation properties that are for sale in commercial. Let's talk about public record. One thousand three hundred and fifty. We can check one example so you can see. 
This is a commercial violation. Uh, Violator Protect uh, Petroleum Investments Inc. Unsafe structure. Oh, wow. So yes, you have commercial too. Yeah. And you want to see uh, condoms, multi-units, multi-family, less than 10. Less than 10 is the way that the county class uh, does the classification. And more than 10 is like buildings. Awesome. As you can that see, Jose's question too. let's check here for open violation. This is a multifamily. It's a very small property. It's a multifamily. See, this is failure to maintain property in safe condition. Roof is leaking in the master bedroom, hole in the walls. You have everything we were dreaming of. Wow. Okay, and um, also the property is in foreclosure. Also the property was listed and it's expired. Guys, what else do you want? Someone's asking if you can see work done without permit. Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can use the word no permit. Or without permit, it will be a better. Uh -oh. Oops. Okay, without permit. Open violations. I'm going to. Any type of violation in Miami Dade that has the word in the left violation contains seven hundred and six. Okay. And so let's check. Open violations. That is, you want to read it and you want to have it, you know, all yeah. in one line. Awesome. Usually, you don't see without permitting here is because it's in a subsequent violation. Okay. It, it, it is, this is showing the first one, but in this case, if you click inside, you're gonna you're gonna see the in the open violations, you're gonna see the without permit somewhere. Okay. Awesome. Someone also wants right to know if you can see the value of the violation. Is that possible? Uh, let me see. Not necessarily. But let me yeah. see what is what what is the information here. No. Okay. That information is not showing at least in the information that we collect. And um Ruth is asking, which are the violations that can be the best to look for? Well, that's a question for Anish. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll circle back. Um, can the search be revised to look for violations over a certain amount? Uh, again, I, we don't have an no. in the amount of dollars of the violations in here, not in the, in the data we collect. Okay, so moving on, does this program allow you to search by delinquent property taxes? Yes, it does. It's, that it, it's not related to this specific webinar, but yes, we do. Okay. 
Well, we can um, go back to your presentation. We can go back to questions in a little bit. We just did a lot of questions. <laughs> well, basically, this is a, a fairly uh, quick um, explanation of this new feature. Basically, we, uh, we're gonna rely on the Q&A to actually extend the webinar because uh, this, is, this is pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, one yeah. of the things that I can actually do is uh, go to the public record section mm -hmm. and look for properties that in this case have violations and let's say they additionally owe taxes, which is the other thing that you can do and see it's uh, greater than zero. Click on search and they're gonna show you both, owe taxes and have open violations. 665 properties. Okay. And if we do what we should do in these kind of properties, this is like, okay, and what, what is that I'm looking for? I'm looking to make money with these properties. So instead of looking for anything, let me only look for property that has uh, at least 30% equity. Three hundred and thirty-eight. Again, once again, this property is also for sale. Open violation. You know, in this case, as you can see, this property has so many things in their tabs that we had to create like um, something that you can scroll between the tabs. <laughs> Yes. Okay, as you can see, this has everything. They have, uh, you got the detail, it's listed, the comp, the active comp, the distress comp, the rental, it has BNB comparables, it has mortgage information, it has tax debt, as you can see, you owe $6,000 in taxes, and the open violation. So all those features you can actually see here. Uh, I, I guess, I, I think this one has probably everything. Yes, is I there a between violations and open violations? Someone's asking, they thought that it was the same. Um, well, it's not the same per se, but what we can find here is open violations. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, if, the, if the violation is no longer open, we just take it off. You're not gonna see it anymore because it's, you know, they cured the violation that it's not, doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Another question, how would violations from tall grass or debris in the yard appear? You can, find, you can certainly find it. Okay. Tall grass, yes. I'm gonna tell you also this, the, the, the violations depend also in the county. Uh, the, 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 those kind of violations are more common in the, in, um, in Palm Beach County, you're gonna see it more often than, than, than you can see it in Dade and Broward, at least at the, the, within what we saw. Okay. Well, we have a lot more questions. Everyone is definitely, keep putting the questions in the Q&A guys. This is your time. Where does the total number show up at? Did not see that. What, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Keith. Okay, um, I, I know what he's talking about. Okay, the, he the also number says- number shows up here. Okay. Because I'm saying the number, but I'm not showing where. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, I hope that answered your question. He has another question. When we search violations, we get total numbered. Where do we see that number? I think that's the same question. That's, that's the answer. <laughs> and Ruth? Top right section of the, of the system. Oh, Ruben. Ruben, is there a difference between a property owner and a violator? No, that I am aware of. Okay. Because... That we, we can see it, let, let's check it here. 
a check a couple of properties. Uh, sometimes the value letter doesn't show in the information we have, but I, 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 I can answer that question. I don't really know uh, a, a straight answer. This is Violator Rosa Marie Duarte. Let's see who the owner is. Yeah, this she's one of the owners. Okay. So the, the Violator is usually the owner of the property. Okay, I see contact info. Um, Ruth wants to know in the results what the P stands for. Oh, prospecting. prospecting. That means that property is part of my follow-up. Okay. Because I do testing, and one of the one one of the uh, uh, features of Reafax uh, is a follow-up system. So every time that I actually click on a property and put it into my follow-up which is a CRM, and I say I'm either buying, prospecting, listing, or selling. I, I, I put prospecting here. And add it to my prospecting properties, it's gonna show a P there. And it actually is going to show in my follow-up system. See? Awesome. If I go to my follow-up, you're gonna be seeing that property on top because it's the latest one. One of the things that I want to tell you guys, the money's in the follow-up. So uh, one, of, one of the things that we encourage you to have is, you know, the professional and professional dialer have a CRM embedded into the system so you can actually uh, do changes and use it. So do we have any more questions? We do, we have lots of questions. Um, out of town owners, is that something we can find? Out of town violations, yes. It's something we can do. I like these questions. That's more related to uh, uh, any kind of lead that you can actually do here. You can actually uh, see it in the in the. You, you can actually uh, do it in the public record section. So the first thing I'm, I'm not going to do out of. I'm going to do non owner occupied or absentee owners here. I'm, I'm going to eliminate the tax portion. But still, remember, we're looking only with properties with 30% equity that are no owner occupied and have a, a, a violation at the moment. Five thousand three hundred and forty-seven non-owner occupied. That's mainly, and and this is an interesting case here, because as you can see. The common denominator of a violation is the owner do not live in the premises. So interesting. Good to know. Thank you for that question. And the other thing we can do here is actually add a state. Add a state, we put state not contains, I'm sorry. FL. It means outside of Florida. Oh, someone mentioned that you accidentally checked yes for owner occupied instead of no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So someone's point was paying attention. Very good. <laughs> so 184. There are outside, uh, they, they do not live in Florida. And let's do that owner occupied, no. No, no owner occupied, perfect. And let's do that search again. One thousand six hundred and ninety. It's still a good number. 
As you can see, I'm following up in these three properties. Awesome. How often are the updates? Weekly. Okay. Well, the, 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 that specific data weekly. I'm gonna mention. I'm gonna mention what what how often we update our data and in in which kind of data. For cell data is daily. Foreclosure data is daily. Public record data is weekly. And I'm gonna go over here so you can see. Public record data weekly, for cell data daily, for rent data daily, for cell by owner data daily, foreclosure data daily, mortgage information weekly, probates weekly, expires daily, and open violations weekly. Awesome, thank you. All right, in the search results, some numbers in the far left column appear to be in green. What does the green mean? It means that they're for sale. Okay. And are there certain cities within the country that you cannot obtain code violations from, such as, for example, Dania Beach? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't get that. I didn't, I didn't get that one. So are there any cities within the country that you cannot obtain code violations from? I, I can, I, I, I that the, the answer is I don't know. If that's the case, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because then, uh, we, the, the, it's only one database and I, I haven't been aware that uh, that is that there are cities that opt out of the violation part. But one of the things that we can actually do is uh, trying to find out if, if any violations in Dania. Is Dania in, in, in Miami-Dade? Dania Beach is in Broward. Oh. Well, uh, we can change to Broward and see if there is any violations there. Sorry, Broward. Yes, there are. 41 violations. Cool. So the, the best, the best, and when you have doubts in any, in any given city, just search <laughs> on the city and. Yeah. Makes sense. And you will see it. And someone asked, can you show fire damage properties? Do yeah, you can actually fire fire damage properties. Does the professional have code by the professional dialer? Is the one that have code violations? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you search for file dates? Yes. Okay. Let me check awesome. on that to make sure. But I'm, uh, uh, no, it's not file date. It's open date. Okay. That that that's the the wording they use. Awesome. Latasha wants to know if real estate agents have access to this database, that she has mentioned this to other realtors and they don't seem to know. Well, they, they have access if they have real effects. Mm -hmm. They yeah, don't have yeah. access if, if they're using the MLS. Yes. Oh. Okay, Keith wants to know if the for rent properties have violations. Which properties? The for rent. You can have properties for rent that have violations. Let's do that. Let's play with that. I like that game. Cool. Let's clear my search and go in for rent and go in Broward County, in Miami-Dade, I'm sorry. Miami-Dade, 
and then go to open violations and say yes. And let's see how many of these rentals have violations. A few. Let's check in one. This one is also for sale. Thousand a month. There you go. Failure to maintain wooden fence. Interesting. So the answer is yes. Cool. Um, do you have a CRM program that you linked for your follow-up? Um, if there's any CRMs that work easily with ReFX. Yes. That okay. that our, our, our CRM. We have an yes. embedded CRM. We don't, we don't export our data to other ones because we have a we, we have our own CRM. An internal, yeah. Internally. And the and, and 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 the main reason for that is because we generate the data in. Mm -hmm. uh, usually when you have a, a, a CRM for real estate, uh, generating the data is a big problem mm -hmm. because that data keep changing status. Uh, the, if you have a CRM that is somewhere else, if the property have a new violation, you're not going to see it. Do you understand what the, what the problem is? If, we, if we, we export the data to a different CRM, everything that changed in the property, you can only see it in real facts. Okay? You can, you're not going to see that information in a different CRM. That's why we created our own CRM because we saw that as a problem. Got it. Got it. Well, thank you, Francisco. We definitely appreciate it. Someone um, mentions here, if I subscribe to Reifax, can I use it as a service for other people? Meaning use it to make money. Uh, if you don't use it to make money, you are in problem. <laughs> That's why you we're need using to use it. it to make money. <laughs> That's why we're using this for sure. Yeah, uh, that, I advise you, sir or or, or ma'am, please use the system and make money with it because that I will make sure that you're gonna pay the next uh, month if you're making money. If you are not making money, you're probably not willing to keep paying. So we encourage you to make money. Awesome. Last question for now. Um, which codes take precedent? For example, tax liens are above liens for work done to the property. Okay, that, that's a question for Anish and, and Ryan. <laughs> yeah, so guys, uh, <laughs> yeah, tax liens take over everything else. Mortgages would be second, but that's not a software question. Right, what we're looking for is motivated people. Um, and the idea is the only way, right, you would know if they have a lien is A, you found the property already once, and then you're doing your research on it later. That's option one, right? You can look up in the city. Um, number two is you're driving for dollars, you see that big orange sticker that says violation, and you pull up to it. The idea is this is getting you that information literally in real time without actually going out there. This is, it's like everything else. The data is gonna give you a starting point. Think of how much time you just saved by finding out, hey, you know what, there's roof damages. You know, let me see how, much, how many roof issues or violations there are in Dania Beach. And that's my farm area. You know, and then again, you know, we've talked about these things um, a lot is that you could co combine some of these things and you've seen Francisco do it. So, hey, they're behind on their taxes and then they also have a roof leak and they have this. Literally, there's millions of combinations. The problem is if you make it so finite, you might only have like three properties. So you wanna kind of scoop it. 
if that makes sense. So, um, so the app is just so you guys know, it is web based. So you can do these things on your phone as a browser with the CRM management. The cost of uh, the dialer with our Bria discount is two twenty four a month for so all counties. Kind of for yep, all, and counties. That's all counties for the state. For all yeah, I mean, one only one county is one eighty five. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know what's funny, Francis, who I always laugh about that. I mean, it's he's right. It is 185. But my issue is for an extra 40 bucks, what happens if you run someone in Broward and he's like, oh, I also have a house in Miami. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, like you're trying, you're looking to have well, a multi-million Believe it or not, there are, there, are, there are a decent amount of people that only get one. That, no, that's what we I, say. I mean, you're, you're running a multi-million dollar business for 50 bucks a month. It's just kind of crazy. <laughs> Um, hey guys, remember to make sure your questions are in the Q&A. Um, yes, you could search by zip code. Um, you could also send offers and letters in the full follow-up system. So if you have the professional dialer, you could do all of that. That includes the skip trace service. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we actually, I don't know, maybe it's like three weeks ago, we actually showed you the Airbnb feature also. Yeah. So we have a lot of different things if you have the dialer. So I just wanna make sure on that portion also. Um, I know uh, obviously the probate file, and we always get this question too. Um, someone's asking about, I know you obviously have access to probate. Will you be able to get divorce files? Uh, you know what? I, I have to revisit that uh, because the last, time, the, the last time that I tried divorce files, I cross reference with the data that was actually mm -hmm. in public records and out of, I don't know, uh, let's say 5,000 that I found only like a hundred were homeowners. Right. Uh, so that, that's why I was discouraged to put it into the system. But I, I probably need to revisit that to see what's going on. Yeah. And I know they missed it. So, so Reavex is web-based. So, so I know that, you, you, let, you let me make a pause here because uh, yeah. what I often see is people, okay, I, 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 I could find uh, someone that is selling me the divorce uh, um, mm. files. And yes, I can give you a divorce file, but uh, that, that's, that's not the situation because you, you know that it, that, that person is divorced or is divorcing. But you don't know if he owns the house. You don't know if the if the house that he that if the house that he owns have equity or not. So yeah. it's not only he, you know, he's getting divorced. It's you know, you own the house and you have equity on the house. Yeah. That that that's what we're interested from. Sure, sure, makes sense. Um, Francisco, do you want to talk about? I know you have the the Reifax app. Also, so does that cover the dialer stuff or would they web browse? Well, that basically the, the, the Reafax app is designed for tablet, uh, Anisha. We, we okay. haven't come with a mobile version of Reafax yet. We yeah. have a soft version of um, more like a um, uh, driving for daughters app, which you know, which is the deal generator. Um, that if you if you have Reafax, you can go to uh, your Apple Store or your uh, Google Play and and look for Deal Generator, and you can download the app and actually uh, use it. Okay, that's yeah. that. It will help you have find the, the 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 properties, and they have a lot of other cool features that we you you guys can use. But we are in the process of developing. Uh, version of Reafax that you're going to be using in your phone. That, that's what we're actually working on that right now. What happened is, is, as you can see, when I click on any of this, see how many tabs this property has. Yeah. Okay, to put it down in a phone, we really need to think it through how we're going to show it. There are things sure. that are going to be shown, there are things that we're not. Uh, yeah. But settings, for instance, is going to be out of the app. You're only going to be able to do settings like adding your signature and putting contracts and things like that only in, in the desktop or the tablet system. 
but at the, in the version regarding to the, 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 the mobile, it's gonna be limited features, but it still it's gonna allow you to do what you need to do in order to follow up and do searches and see the overview and stuff like that. Francisco, do you mind, because I'm getting a lot of questions, so because, uh, and we'll go back to some more stuff, but can you literally break down the three, what people get on the three different versions? Like yes. what, what do you get as the as a professional? The the first version, the the, the the platinum version or the, the, the first version that, that is available now is you will get all the searches. When I say all the searches, I mean all the searches but the open violation. Okay, okay, so guys, get that. It's all the searches, not including open violations. So you public record for sale, for rent, for sale by owner, for closure. Mortgage probate expired. Expired only for realtors, by the way. By so way. that that's what you're going to get as the platinum, right? The platinum. The professional, right. you will get everything that you get on the platinum, but you also get the follow-up system. Right. So follow-up system is the full CRM management system. Yes. So you could actually, I, I saw some questions, so I'm going to kind of generalize this. If you uh, want to make offers on properties, you could actually upload your contracts, all your addendums. Reifax will actually help you upload it. I mean, you'll have your signatures. They literally walk you through it. So yeah, it'll take you about 20, 30 minutes with them to, to get it set up. Here's the thing. If you are a realtor, you do not need a licensing agreement. All you need is your realtor license. Not an issue, right, if you're a realtor. If you're a non-realtor, you need a licensing agreement to use those contracts and addendums. Unless, the unless use... there are no far bar. If you have your right. own contracts, yeah. we can upload right. it too. If Correct. the contracts if... that you're looking to use are far bar, you need to have a licensing and you need to send us that licensee so we can see yeah. it. And I'm just, and I'm using, I'm saying that because Ryan and I, we always use far of our contracts, but yes, if you guys are using the one or two pager that I kind of frowned on, that's fine. Um, you don't need a licensing or your, or your attorney wrote you one. How about that? And you don't need a licensing agreement. To get a licensing agreement, www.altastar.com, A-L-T-A-S-T-A-R.com. Well, you could get a, a yearly licensing agreement we actually get a discount if you use the BRIA code. It's about $125 for the year. So once you sign up, you call BRIA Facts, right? And you got the professional. I want to upload contracts. They're going to ask you for that licensing agreement. What you can do is the software will allow you to make 50 offers, five, zero offers per day. If you want to build, right, you want to build it out. So what I'm talking about for my more my technical, the technology people that you might want to build out follow-up emails, text messages, it actually does that. Yes. Right. Plus all the searches that we just talked about. So it does it does both. So that's the middle version. And then if you want the version that uh, Ryan and I have, we have the professional dialer. So it's got the basic searches. It's got the full CRM management system. It's got the open violation things that we just showed you today. It's got the Airbnb feature that we talked about and also has skip trace. Skip trace is when you can't find um, phone numbers for people. I always kind of joke about one of the collection people and you say, how did they get my number? They're skip tracing you. So you're gonna find the way it works is the skip trace works based on the property. So one, two, three Main Street, maybe the dad lived there, the kid lived there, the nephew lived there, the brother-in-law, anyone attached to the address, you'll be able to get some additional information. This also includes social media contacts and emails. And, and, and if I'm correct, you get up to 500 per month, correct, Francisco? Yes. I, you, you know, I we, should work. I, I feel like I should work. You need more. Uh, uh, we, we go case by case and we, yeah. you know, we, yeah. did, we and, did use some leeway on that one, but usually it, 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 if there is something 
Uh, yeah. We don't want you to use that for spam because that's going to be a problem yeah. immediately for you. Uh, more than protecting us, we're protecting you, meaning uh, yeah. there is people that wants to send like mass emails through the system. It's a big no, 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 because of us, because it's your email account. The moment yeah. that you go to your email account and start sending emails, a spam yeah. fashion, you, 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 your account is going to be closed and your follow up is going to be doomed. So we don't want yeah. that to happen to you. The same thing that will happen if you do uh, uh, a, a mass email, a mass um, text messaging. It's the same thing. They're gonna cut you up real quick. And not only that, that that uh, one of the things that you failed to mention, I'm sorry, Anish, is uh, with the dialer, you get a dialing system. Yeah. Yeah. And not only yeah. a dialing system, but the you the the, the you use a different setting to send in the text message. It means that he actually sent a text message. The, 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 the text message they use in the middle version is an email to text. The text message that you that we use in the in the professional version is a phone to text message. So it's it's not only more more precise but it's more uh is quicker. And um, that's an advantage also because you are in the professional dial, dialer, you are paying for a phone number and you also have the option to send um, text messages from a cell phone number. Yeah. And, and so like, I know there's a lot of other programs out there. I mean, Ryan and I, you know, without a doubt, we, we, our job is, to look for other software to find deals, right? Or find software that gets, makes our life easier. And I know there's some big ones. I'm not gonna name who the big ones are nationally. All I could tell you is it doesn't do the same thing that um, Francisco software does at Reifax. I'm like, hey, can I do this? We made a killing on the Airbnb comps alone. I don't know anyone that else, I'm surprised no one else offers it or is capable of it. Yeah, you know, the full CRM management system. I definitely do not know anyone with the open violations. I mean, that's brand new. Uh, vacant homes. So, you know, one of the things I always tell people is, you know, not only um, is his software really amazing and we use it. Um, it I, I kind of joke about it. It's probably a bad analogy now, but I always feel like you're our Bill Gates, meaning you know, I get to have lunch with Francisco. I see him on the cruise every year. And I and we sit there and say, hey, Francisco, it'd be great if you could do this. And two to four months later, it magically does. I, I'm still waiting for him to be able to find a deal, close the deal and send me the check. So as soon as you do that, I'm done. I'm not working anymore. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll pay extra, of course. But, there, you know, if you're doing deals in Florida, you want to use Reifax. That's why we've been doing so many webinars with Francisco. We're doing different things. I almost say we're, we're, we're planning on one every couple months. It's just because there's so many features out there. Uh, I mean, if we did a Reifax, you could probably do a seven-day Reifax workshop, <laughs> to be honest. And it's overwhelming, but you're going to start learning, you know, what to use out there. So um, let's see what Obviously, you know, like, so Kazar is asking with the dollar, can you import your number? So you could actually put whatever phone number you want on the vanity, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm saying that the right way. So if you want to put your cell phone number to show up when you call, it could, it, it'll show up or yeah, it could actually. be a different phone number. Exactly. You, you can, you can select which number do you want, do, do you want in the, in the caller ID. Absolutely. What about, um, I don't know if this is, would vacant lands show environmental problems? I don't think it would, unless it's a violation, I, I guess. I don't know if that's a violation. I don't think it will. Send a suggestion, maybe something we can look into. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, Anna, is there is money to be made and willing to try. Yeah, absolutely. And Anna, I'm not sure what you're asking about. You're asking about general contractors. I'm not sure what you're asking about. So. If you want to put it back in the chat, uh, the Q&A, what you're specifically about general contractors, if you need one, 
Absolutely, we have Bria, we have literally everything you need also. Um, can you search vacant land without an address? Yeah, you could actually do it by uh, like uh, the polygrams. Remember all the searches on the left. Right. I'm just gonna do, I'm going to do this. I don't know if anything is gonna show because I never do this Neither. search before, but let's search for uh, backhand land that have open violation. I don't know which kind of open violation it would be, but let, let's just try it. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know either. Maybe tall grass or something, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. And that's a good saying, by the way. In the meantime, Francisco, can you set up a voicemail greeting on the dialer? So no. people call. Right, yeah. No, they remember the dialer ha is going to have a phone number that you want. Correct. So, is this is that is your mobile number? You can have your own voicemail in your in your mobile number, and that's when it is, is yes. You in backend land, you can have like violations. I see. And Jack, the platform subscription does include the lead generator. This is a. Uh, Open violation. It doesn't say what violation is. Not available. Yeah, it doesn't. It says all other cookies. Okay, what well, was the question? I'm sorry, Nish. No, no, they were just asking about uh, um, environmental. Remember for the violations and. Okay, I, I, I need one other thing, guys, that we do. And actually, it's funny because I have a meeting yesterday, and we have like uh, probably ninety percent of the the suggestions that that you guys sent are already um, in the system. So yeah. normally, what happens is you send a suggestion, we call you, says that okay, you need to do this, 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 this. So out of probably fifty suggestions that we we got. In the in the last you know in the last month, uh, there were only five that were you know really really suggestions that we were analyzing and, and we studied those suggestions yesterday and so approved four of them. So that, wow. that's the kind of thing that we do. That's amazing. And so the other thing is we also get a discount with Francisco. Uh, the question we always get: Do I have to be a member of Bria? I should say yes, but you do not <laughs> have to be a member. But if you use our code, and if you're not a member, I'm gonna find you, you know, hunt you down. I'm gonna use Reifax. That's what I'm gonna do. How is is there a way to check, you know, track down people in general, Francisco? The people that are not members, can you add that as a search? If you're not a member of Bria and you live in Dade Broward or Palm Beach County. And you've watched more than five of our webinars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Man. Either, that's it. You know, I'll, I'll crush you guys. And don't, don't, you know, don't let me, don't, don't get fooled by me. I'll find, I'll ask Francisco. He'll have a, he'll have a, a separate tab for us. <laughs> well, for the, for the fifty percent of the, of the people here that uh, do not have the system. And they're uh, interested. At, yeah. uh, my my uh, one of the things that we do for you is uh, we do a one on one. You can go through uh, our main page and schedule a one on one uh, with us. And it's very simple. You go uh, here. Order a free demo. You schedule one. Our uh, staff is, is actually going to um, work with you and show you the system and get you comfortable between all the options that you might have in order to uh, get into Reafax. The other thing is we have trainings every single Friday. And the good about those trainings is the, those trainings got questions from other people and then you start learning things. Uh, it, it's very interesting. We also have an archive with all those trainings so you can watch them in case you miss one. Uh, you, you can actually go there and watch, watch those trainings. 
Uh, the ways that you can contact us is by phone. You can chat with us as you can see in this feature here. You can chat with us and you can schedule as many one-on-ones as you want. That's something yeah. that we're, we're very proud of. If you really want to learn real facts, we really want to teach you because we know once you learn and you're not going anywhere. So our in our best interest, we want to teach you the software uh, always. So we, we are going to be there, uh, not only uh, trying to help you with, with, with the system, but actually teaching you that system 101. There is people that never use the system because we have a video help that are virtually answer uh, any question, okay? But in case that you need, you know, someone taking your hand and explaining to you one on one, we had that too. Absolutely. Can you actually, since you're on the page, can you go into like if they're ready to sign up? They're saying, "Look, I need this in my life," and how to get okay, the discount? That, it's very easy. You go to you go to pricing. You have the platinum professional and professional dialer. One of the things that I failed to mention is. Um, uh, as you see, you pay annually, you have, you're going to have two months discount. Okay? Right. So let's say you pick this one, which is uh, what, are you, what, what we already originally saw. Here you guys, okay. 2,990. If you use the promo code BRIA and confirm, it's going to give you the discount. $2,240. So the discount is pretty much $750. And, and the only way they're getting that discount is they take myself, Ryan, and Francisco out to lunch. <laughs> that, that will help, I tell you. <laughs> so, I mean, and then the other, if you guys aren't sure, right, um, if you even email our office, we have a form, too. If you're a little bit old school and you want us to send you a form, um, you do need to use the BRIA discount to actually uh, get better pricing. If you do not, you're going to pay more. Francisco will be happy to take your money, the extra I'll money. Take your money. I'll you know, he's got you know college grads and you know another one going to school, so he'll gladly take the extra money. So <laughs> I'm just messing, guys. I'm no, hoping everyone. You are, but I'm not. I, um, I, have so, to, I have two more to get to school, man. I, 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 <laughs> and I just graduated from UF, so absolutely. I have two and, more and to go. <laughs> Francisco, the webinars are Friday at 10 or 11 Eastern time. I was 10. 10, 10 Eastern. 10. Yep. So, Diana, that's, yeah, let's see. So, Roy, if you pay the annual premium and decide to stop after six months, is the refund prorated? No refund, my friend. So either you do the monthly monthly and you just suck it up or you pay up the year we, and we, use it. Well, we usually do in that, and it's, you know, uh, it, it is, it's per basic, um, per case. It's like, okay, you want to pay six months, you can pause it. And if you go to vacation or something and, and you know you're not going to be there, you know, or, or you know, someone died, uh, God forbid, uh, we just pass the subscription for you and um, we put it in freeze and then we resume the moment that you are ready to go back. Okay. Yep, absolutely. So I know like you guys have some, like, I I'm just looking at some of the Q and A stuff. Like these are like super specific stuff. Um, so it gets a little bit challenging on that. For that, a ton of those. for that yep. guys, Again, yeah. you can actually have a one-on-one uh, schedule if you're already a client. If you are not, we can uh, actually uh, schedule what, what we talk about, which is a, a, a full demo. Yeah. Yeah. So I know there's a ton of you know people on this. So it's just one of those questions on there. I know we only have about five or six or minutes or so. Um, did you mention what you have coming up or you don't, you don't want to say, I mean, I have no idea either what you have coming up. You're not going to say yet? No, I Stay don't want to say it yet. 
okay, stay tuned, stay tuned, okay. And then again, if it's if if it's to find a deal and get the deal and sell it, do not open it up to anyone else. Just Ryan and I, we're good. <laughs> that was great, man. So again, you know, if you've missed, you know, hopefully you guys are signed up in our YouTube channel. I think since the pandemic, I want to say we've probably done six to eight webinars, like ninety minutes with Francisco. So, I mean, we've gone, you know, like all sorts of specifics. So you can always watch the replay. This will be up on our YouTube channel in the next 48 hours. Um, you know, and, and again, if you want to do the demo or just buckle up and, you know, sign up for at least a month, try it out. I mean, even the demo, like you should, you should definitely do the demo. But I, I think like the way I learned it was I subscribed and then I just started messing around with my neighborhood first. And I was like, oh, let me see how many pre-foreclosures are here. I'm like, oh, this is what's happening. Oh, it'd be great if I found someone that's behind on taxes and this also. Okay, that's fantastic too. So you're going to start picking those things. It's like everything else, even though you're watching it, until you actually use it. And, and I think that's when the real questions will start happening for you, because it'll always be a constant add-on. I, I mean, Francisco, I'll, I'm, I'll be honest, I probably only use if I'm lucky, probably 40% of what you, what you have on the software right. is what I would say, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm a work in progress probably. myself. Yeah. Maybe I'm being probably. even too, uh, too generous on that. They, also. They, sometimes they, they, they call me with questions that uh, I, I realize that they are not using the full potential, but again, you know, we're here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, and just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, remember, our monthly meeting is next Wednesday, uh, June 2nd. I believe that's a Wednesday, whatever the Wednesday is. Um, so it starts at 7 p.m. It's, uh, you know, if, and I got a bunch of questions about land. You want to make some money on land and flip land? It is the premier guy uh, teaching about land. I mean, he, David is awesome. His mentor or the, the company owner is Jack Bosch. He's been doing this forever and ever and ever. Um, so if you're looking for a segment that's totally different, right? You're gonna wanna check that out. We're also gonna give away a uh, membership, I believe that day, just for hanging out and checking us out. Also, our webinars start at 7, 7 p.m. And they usually end by 8.30, 8.45. So again, all, all the webinars will be on replay. Uh, also, next, uh, the 5th on Saturday, Ryan and I are going to be teaching. Uh, we're going to talk about comparable and property analysis and how to make offers. So I know a lot of you guys have been saying, I don't know how to evaluate a house. What kind of offer? So Ryan and I are going to do a 90-minute um, webinar on the 5th. Um, I know we just finished our boot camp this past weekend. I know some of you got boot campers were on there. Um, our next boot camp, people have been asking us already. It is July 24th and 25th. It's two full days on the boot camp. Um, so if you're interested in that, just go ahead and I put a quick poll up there. Um, hopefully, you guys have been following us, Brian and I. If you're not on our Facebook page, our email list, or you're not sick of us yet, um, maybe you're starting to get sick of all the students getting checks. Uh, we just had another deal yesterday, Francisco. $75,000 in profit, wholesaling. We got another one closing next week, $68,000 in profit, wholesaling. We're going to start um, raising again, the price for you guys. Yeah, so I mean, it's been pretty good. You know, like we keep thinking about, we're going to rehab this house, we're going to rehab that one. And the market's hot, so people are just buying all that stuff from us. Um, also, we, if you got properties for sale and you can't sell them, remember we have a 10,000 plus cash buyers list. So go ahead and you go to our co-wholesale program with WJL Partnership. Our last co-wholesale deal, you're going to laugh, Francisco, we found a buyer in two days, almost $75,000 in profit. So they had it under contract. They couldn't sell it, the investor, and we got it sold right away. So there's a lot of different ways to work with us. Um, what I can tell you is... You know what's happening, obviously, with the moratorium. So we think, you know, it's going to end on June th uh, June 30th. Um, what we've seen 
and, and as you've been watching our webinars, the amount of pre-foreclosures and foreclosures every month have, have been going up. So all that means it's a lot of opportunity. Uh, our bootcamp price, just so you guys know, it's 425 for members, 495 for non-members. I did get that question too. And we also give you our money back guarantee also. If, if you're not happy, we wasted your time, you know, and you said, hey, this thing sucks. You know, it's all day, Saturday, Sunday. I'll gladly refund your money too. So um, Francisco, any last thoughts that uh, you want to give our viewers? Yes, yeah, uh, you know, to to um, our current users, uh, again, we're very interested to to learn more about um, your feedback about the system. Uh, any suggestions you might have regarding anything, even our staff, even even my presentation, please give us a feedback. Uh, and and uh, one of the things that that I've been working is in my accent, guys. Uh, for the last 20 years I'm trying to improve it, but uh, it's still hey. being a, a difficult task for me. Francisco, uh, don't, Francisco don't worry. I, I have a Jersey accent. <laughs> so they're all, they, they can barely hear, you know, when I'm talking about, let's go to the mall. So, you know, if you get uh, past the Jersey accent, they can get past uh, the Venice. I know, I know. So <laughs> other suggestions other than that, we're happy, we're happy to help you. Yeah, absolutely. And again, Francisco, as usual, Thank you so much for being part of our boot camp this weekend. Um, you know, really committing to teaching our members and non-members or our listeners about the software. Um, what I always tell people, if you're not using the software, you're already behind, you know, the eight ball, meaning this is what, you know, investors in our market, we're all using the software. So thank you again, Francisco, for being a corporate, a friend, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, my friend. Say hi to Ryan, and, and I hope that, you know, uh, the, the meeting keep being as successful as, uh, as they are right now. Uh, we, we need to plan about the, the next uh, webinar uh, that we're going to do. We, 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 we have no pick a subject yet, as I remember. Yeah, if, if you guys, I mean, you could email our staff or myself, Anish at WJL.net, it doesn't matter. If there's anything that you want to hear specifically on the topics of ReFX, this is your chance. I always tell everyone, you know, with, with Ryan and I, when we create, you know, uh, as the owners of Bria, um, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, Francisco, our members, uh, we've been getting a lot of great feedback from our corporate vendors to teach people. So we've been putting out a lot of free information. So if there's you know, topics besides, you know, uh, Francisco or Riofax that you guys would love to cover. I'll try to convince one of our corporates to do a webinar um, to give you good information. So we're committed to your, your success um, in real estate investing. We're cash buyers. And, you know, again, you know, our, our idea as a company is that we stand for our members, our students, and we'll adapt to whatever things that you guys want. So if, if it makes sense for you and we could try to do it, we'll gladly do it for you. So thank you again, Francisco. Thank I you will very much. Hopefully see you soon. Uh, everyone have a happy Memorial weekend. Be safe. Uh, make sure. Oh, okay, God. Yeah, One sorry. last what thing, Anish. Sorry. Yes. Everybody definitely have a great Memorial Day weekend. And someone's going to get a special prize. So the winner of our professional dialer ReFX subscription is Allison C. So Allison C will be in contact with you. Congratulations. Hopefully that makes your weekend a little bit sweeter. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. We had a lot of subscribers. I mean, um, yeah, that's, that's yep. fantastic. Allison, just make sure you contact our office and we'll get you set up. Probably, you know, if you get it in time, we might even congratulations. Get you today or the latest, you know, over the weekend with ReFX too. So um, good job. So Allison got paid to hang out with us. So good for you. <laughs> so thanks Alice, guys. It's, it's nice to finally see your face. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a great day, yep. everyone. Yep. Have, have a great Memorial weekend if we don't talk to you soon. Bye guys. Bye everyone. Bye.